Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, this Thursday afternoon to be here to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic? beloved and friends that Jesus Christ himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome this afternoon let's give him a big hand in jesus mighty name hallelujah sincerely from my heart i release a blessing upon your life today and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every year in your life and whatever you you do with your two hands it shall prosper I release a blessing upon your homes I pray that God will bless your homes God will bless your marriage God will bless your children God will bless your finances that God will bless your business and whatever you do with your two hands on the job God will bless you on the job and prosper you and give you a promotion in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you Jesus this afternoon I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. This day, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether for second, third, a fourth generation of curse that come against your life I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus whom the Son set free is free indeed you are free today in the mighty name of Jesus give him a big hand <laughs> hallelujah Jesus said also in his words healing is the children bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you Jesus Father God today I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit, uh, born out every sickness. Uh born out every pain every disease every infirmities every evil from this mortal body today heal me from every virus every germs and every sickness anoint mortal man of clay anoint my lips anoint my tongue my voice my body my soul my mental faculties as i minister your words your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the holy spirit that many will be healed many will be saved many will be Bless him. Many be delivered, many be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease <coughs> and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. In chapter 4, verse 11, the curve tells us, I have about shown some of you. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you are as a fire bird, a fire brand that plucked out of the burning, yet, yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Today, my friends and beloved, 
God is telling us to prepare to meet him. Hallelujah. I have overthrown thee in the book of Amos. Amos chapter Amos chapter 11 verse 12. I will show some of you as God overthrown Sodom and Gomorrah and he were as firebrand plucked out of, of the burning yet yet have ye not returned. Return unto me saith the Lord God Almighty. Therefore thus will hide unto thee O Israel and because I will do this unto thee prepare to meet thy God O Israel prepare to meet thy God O people if you don't listen to anything else I have to say just hold on to this one phrase today found in the book of Amos Amos chapter 11 verse 12 prepare to meet your God this is a sober warning beloved warning to each and every person today it is an individual warning for each and every person to take heed take heed to prepare to prepare to meet thy God call Israel to to do this but this warning is uh, appropriate for all men and all women as at times at times beloved and friends because we never know when we will meet our God in eternity is that so this life is so unexpected today therefore we must always be prepared to meet our God yes your plans will not always go to plan you may hear someone say i will prepare to meet god later yes in life beloved and friends i want to have fun and now i want to enjoy my life i want to live in sin yes for for a little while i will prepare to meet god later yes in life but uh, who told you that you have uh, a later a later life awaits you no one beloved no one life waits for no one life waits for no one prepare to meet thy god what god what the god the god of abraham isaac and jacob the god who spoke the words into existence the god who knows the end from the beginning yes the god who cannot run from you run or you can run and hide from the God you cannot de deceit or defeat the God no one can overcome or dethrone the God no one can conquer or overthrow today the God who is above all else the God who created you the God who formed you yes beloved the God that you know in your heart of hearts your hearts exist the God who knows your thoughts today beloved yes are far of the God who loves you and the God who is calling you to you today God loves you he does yes my friends I will be scared to meet the God who just sits on his throne and gives me a list of do and don'ts that I am supposed to follow. I will be anxious to meet the God who creates me and then doesn't want anything to do with me. Yes, I will be purified to meet the God who writes a bunch of rules and regulations and commandments in stone that I must follow. I will be terrified to meet the God who breathes a breath of life into my lungs and just leave me alone because he does not care about me but that alone is not the God you will meet he is also a God that cares today for you a God that loves you beloved you a God that dies the death of all debts yes for you a God that pay a price that you will not pay yes he is a God of justice yes he is a God that judges sin yes beloved he is also God of love and compassion he is a God of mercy and forgiveness don't be scared about me God prepared for it prepare to a God prepared to God that loves you and cares for you hallelujah praise God prepare to meet your God 
Hallelujah. This is such a, a wonderful phrase to remember because this is something all of mankind must do. Hallelujah. We will one day meet God, beloved. Prepare for it. Hallelujah. Prepare for it. Now let us look at the man that failed to prepare to meet his God. Hallelujah. Today, Luke chapter 12, yes, verses 13 to 21 clearly tells us someone in the crowd said to him teacher tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me yes beloved and friends Jesus replied man man who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you between you and then he says to them watch out be he says be on your guard God guard against all kinds of greed life does not consist of an abundance of possessions today beloved and friends he also told them this parable the ground of a certain rich man yes yielded it says an abundance abundant harvest he thought to himself what shall I do what shall I do with all my inheritance I have no place to store my crops then he said this is what I will do the man says I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones he says and there I will store my surplus grain yes and I will say to myself you have plenty of grain laid up because you've robbed so many people for years take life easy eat eat drink eat drink and be merry yes beloved and friends but God said to him God said to him, you fool you fool this very night your life will be de demanded from me yes from me then he will get what he have prepared for your Self. Yes, beloved and friends, this is how it will be with whosoever store up things for themselves by robbing people and store up riches towards God. My friends, beloved and friends, this is how a lot of people live their lives today as if they all have time in this world to rob and cheat and steal and store up riches. The story an example of a man that believed that in a lie of the devil that he had time. Yes, my friends, but without any prayer warning, God said, you fool God says you fool this very night your life will be demanded from you hallelujah praise God warning warning beloved no prayer notice no prayer notice no sign no no indication today no indication do you understand what that man had absolutely no indication beloved and friends that his life was coming to an end and and that it is uh, is the world we live in today life is unexpected life is unexpected and as if you don't know what uh, what keep living and you will come to understand how unexpected life is beloved and friends it keep living keep living life life reading this parable is sobering today because you can clearly see that the rich man had no idea whatever that he was moments away from meeting God hallelujah praise God he did not prepare my friends he did not prepare Amos chapter 4 prepare he says prepare to meet thy God hallelujah the rich man is described as being a fool because all he did was look after the cares of this life yes my friends are you being a fool today are you putting God on the back seat so you can earn more money and draw more people and heap up riches so that you can enjoy the pleasures of sin? Are you putting God on the back seat? Yes, in order to chase the pleasures of this life, beloved and friends, God. God describes you as, as a fool today in the word of God. Hallelujah. A quote by Paulo Surero. 
Paul Cyril once revealed the life of too short. Life is too short for or, or too long for me to allow myself the luxury of living. It's, it's so badly that it's the truth. The truth of the matter today, either short or long life should be lived meaningfully. Hallelujah. Praise God. The truth is we don't know how much time we have left on this earth. If only we knew we will have taken life more seriously and live a holy life. How much time do you have left? This is a question to ask yourself at all times, beloved and friends. I've known people in their old age still robbing people. I marvel when I see people live as though they are destined to live forever. All the world in the only one place. Man is created to live in accord and nothing else. Afterward, what do I mean by this today? I mean, beloved and friends, the earth is not your final destination today you still have a home to return to yes beloved and friends home you will, you will input and impacts they will decide they will decide mark chapter 8 verses 36 clearly says today beloved and friends for so what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world yes and lose his own soul yes gain the whole world and lose his own soul delaying intimacy with God is an act you need to stop from right now away away beloved because it has no good ending hallelujah and in the end in the end your service to God is all that matters beloved and friends every human on earth must come to this realization and give God dear give God their all in all time to have a good ending hallelujah praise God serve God beloved and friends serve God now live for him now yes and worship him now hallelujah because you can never tell what the future holds give glory to God stop robbing people stop cheating and all give all adoration to God give all praise and admiration unto him today beloved and friends Hallelujah, and I wish I could go on to all the four corners of the earth and tell every man and every woman of every tribe and kingdom of every race and creed, praise God, of every color and every background that God loves you today. Hallelujah, my prayer today, beloved, is that you and I may come to the place that the Apostle Paul came to in the book of Romans, Romans. Romans, beloved Romans, hallelujah, chapter 8, verse 38, clearly tells us in 39, who shall separate us from the love of Jesus Christ, shall tribulation, hallelujah, or distress, hallelujah, or persecution, or famine, yes, beloved, or nakedness, hallelujah, or peril, yes, beloved, or sword, Praise God, for I am persuaded, I am persuaded that neither death nor life, hallelujah, nor angels, <coughs> hallelujah, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come. Yes, beloved, nor heights, nor, nor depth, hallelujah, praise God, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Let's give him a big hand, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior and Redeemer. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved and friends, it has been a great joy and privilege today to minister the word of God. I pray today that I will pray for you before I leave. I know many are sick today unto death. Many are sick with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness today. Whatever sickness you have today, if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a kidney 
kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem. What is your ailment today? I want to introduce you to the Lord. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame today. I want to introduce you to the healing God, the God that heals our soul and the God that still heals our body. Yes, my friends, today, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, I want to introduce you to Jesus Christ today who can set you free. If you're having a migraine headache, yes, and that migraine headache is killing you, you cannot function effectively on the job. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for salvation. If you have diabetes and you're pining away, your blood is messed up. God is touching your blood right now and healing you from that diabetes. You God gonna restore your health. You're gonna restore your weight. God gonna completely heal you today. What is your ailment today? Are you demon possessor? I command those demons, those harassing demons, to leave your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus do you have a distorted mind you have a mental breakdown yes are you suffering from a mental illness today God gonna touch you and heal you and set you free today in the mighty name of Jesus praise God hallelujah thank you Jesus I feel a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit here today and I'm gonna send for the anointing God said in his words hey, there is no respect of persons there is no distance there is no barrier there is no limit where the anointing and prayers is concerned so wherever you're listening from this afternoon if you're listening from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean or any part of this world today beloved and friends is your day for a miracle Today is your day for healing and deliverance right now wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. As I sent for the anointing, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. I see demons have fled a living body left right and center right now in the name of Jesus it's the work of the Holy Spirit it is God beloved and friends receive today write me text me call me <coughs> let me know what God has done for you today in the mighty name of Jesus for there is power in the name of Jesus and there is victory in the name of Jesus and there is healing and deliverance right now many are being healed today go back and check with the doctors beloved and friends see that cancer is gone that AIDS is gone, that migraine headache is gone. God has given you a brand new liver, a brand new lungs, a brand new kidney. Yes, my friends, because he was wounded for our transgressions. He took 39 stripes upon his back, according to medical doctors. There are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease that is plaguing mankind today. And I believe Jesus Christ took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses and disease. So by his stripes, you're healed today. People are still receiving their healing. Let me go a little further. God breathed for man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul. So God who formed you out of dust, you know, every bone, every marrow, every joint, every organ every tissue every part of your body today beloved is no big deal it's no big thing for you for him to give you a brand new organ in your body and your brand new tissue in your body in the name of Jesus and right now many are still receiving the healing today my friends and beloved hallelujah go back and let the doctors check you many are healed i see the person with the growth it has gone the person with the migraine headache that migraine headache is gone that spirit of depression oppression frustration anxiety is gone today people are being healed from arthritis pain yes pain in the joints in the fingers in the elbows and the toes and every joint those pain that no painkiller can help you with the pain is gone Let's 
give the Lord a big hand to me. Right, we text, we call me, and let me do, beloved and friends, what God has done for you. Hallelujah, it's been a joy and privilege. God bless you richly. Do enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you by the grace of God in the next session. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God.